suffer and be told how to live your life. So you had no seating. People would come in here, they'd do business, there'd be pigs in here, there'd be chickens in here, things like that. People would have meetings, meet their friends. Here, over the other side of Radcliffe Square, and in Broad Street, he was burnt. And there's a cross on the floor in Broad Street where he was burnt. So we can go and see that one day if you want, and we can go over there. We're not the only ones to have walked through these doors. The famous Queen Elizabeth I came here to listen to the disputations, or fights as I like to call them. Many years later, the world famous Mahatma Gandhi visited this church. I don't think he'd have approved of all the fighting and burning that had gone on here before. And C.S. Lewis, the author of the Nanny Bits, also spent his time here. And the lamppost at Lucy seen from the first visit is right outside. Finally! That's better. It's a bit noisy up here. Gotta love the view though. Not bad, eh? The chap who commissioned that impressive round building, a certain John Radcliffe, now rests in peace inside the church here. You might be able to think of some other buildings named after him. Quite a big cheese he was in the 17th century. And he did love a good wig. You should have seen him. I don't go in for that sort of thing myself. This mane's all mine. Actually, you've caught me on a good day. I haven't looked this good in 733 years. I've just had a facelift, along with the rest of the church. Taken years off me, it has. Oh. By the way, my name is Geoffrey, Geoffrey the Garrulous Gargot, and if you don't know what that means, you can look it up. Tell you what, I've seen a few things from up here, like the day when, hang on, what are those noisy little hatchlings doing down there? Ah yes, they're going to show you round the church and help me tell you some stories about the past. Ta-da! I would, but my joints aren't what they used to be, and those stairs. My days of bounding up and down them like a mountain goat are well and truly over. I've learned a lot of history. Um, I've learned about the Oxford Martyrs, Amy Robsart, um, John Ratcliffe and lots of other important people. I've learned a lot because some stuff I never knew, like the Scholasticus fight, about um, like the students fighting the people like in town. I have to um, choose between two. The big um, window, I can't remember what it's called, but I like looking at all the lions and the people and the stories. And I also like the tower because it's, even though I'm afraid of heights, it's a bit, it's cool. It's nice and 
the gargoyles are really creepy and when you get up you can see them in person it's really fun this building's wonderful so you walk into this building and you feel immediately inspired to create things and i think all the children who come here in the future will feel the same or i hope they will and i'm going to be here to help them do that well, when i first came to st mary's i thought it was a really amazing building um, so it's very important to do the conservation work and for me it's really been wonderful to see that work done because um, I think it's a very special place that should be kept for future generations to come and see.